Hi, I'm Rasheen, and this is Charlie. Charlie is a six-year-old Labrador who, like most Labradors, loves his food. And so the reason we're making a diet is to help Charlie lose weight. Now, the recommended amount for a Labrador to weigh is 32 to 36 kilograms. Charlie weighs 44.7. Now, that's over 20% more than his ideal body weight, which categorizes him as obese. Obesity is the number one medical disease affecting pets worldwide. In 2013, Animal Health Alliance Australia posted data that showed that 41% of dogs were overweight or obese. Now, obesity can have a lot of impacts on our pet's health. Obesity increased the risk of cardiovascular disease, an increased risk of joint and mobility issues such as osteoarthritis. It increases the risk of diabetes elevates cholesterol, increases the risk of surgical complications, can reduce our pet's quality of life, and in some cases, even reduce their lifespan. Weight loss is simply that calories consumed are less than calories used up in expenditure. So to help Charlie lose weight, we want to work out how many calories he should be eating a day to ensure that he's below his expenditure. To do this, we need to perform some calculations. The first calculation that we need to perform is for Charlie's resting energy requirements. RER is equal to 70 times metabolic weight. And up on the screen, I've popped up the calculations for both his current weight of 44.7 kilos and his ideal weight of 36 kilograms. Once we've worked out a dog's resting energy requirement, we can multiply this by a variety of factors based on their energy requirements. Now, Ohio State University recommend for weight loss using the equation one times resting energy requirement at your dog's ideal weight. However, Charlie has to lose more than 20% of his body weight, and so doing this could cause adverse health effects. Instead, Rawfed and Nerdy recommend performing this equation at your dog's current weight and adjusting as they begin to lose weight. Now, let's have a look at the ingredients in Charlie's diet. They've all been selected for their high affordability, accessibility, and palatability. Charlie lives on acreage outside of Sydney and shares his home with six hens. As a result, eggs are always in abundance. 23.9 grams of eggs, which is roughly two eggs per day, provides more than half of Charlie's lysine requirements. Other ingredients in the diet include carrots, oatmeal, peas, and spinach, which are all high fiber, high moisture ingredients, which have been shown to increase satiety and weight loss diets. Other ingredients include sardines, a really high fat and protein ingredient, which contributes more than 46% of total fat daily and 54% of crude protein. Raw chicken necks are a rich source of calcium, phosphorus, protein, and fat. There is some controversy over their inclusion in dog diets, but it's at owner's discretion and Charlie's owners were happy to include. Kangaroo mince has been used as a protein topper just to fulfill his requirements. And we've included two multivitamins to ensure that all of his vitamin and mineral requirements are met daily. NRC provides calculations based on a per kilogram dry matter basis or based on a dog's metabolic weight. Since this is a low calorie, low dry matter diet, using the first formula would severely underestimate Charlie's actual requirements. And therefore we have to calculate based on his current weight. Protein is a crucial macronutrient within dog diets that is needed for synthesis, tissue repair, enzyme activity, and much more. As we can see here, this diet meets and exceeds all the recommended daily intakes for crude protein and amino acids. The NRC does not provide any maximum tolerable level, and so these levels are good. Dogs do not actually have a minimal requirement for carbohydrates and fiber. However, they can utilize up to 65% dietary carbohydrates. Carbohydrates have been used as a cheap energy source, and fiber is utilized to increase satiety within the weight loss diet due to its effects on digestion and absorption. The recommended amounts are from Raw Fed and Nerdy, who recommend a maximum of 5% dietary fiber. However, dogs can tolerate up to 32% on a weight loss diet. I've utilized 10% dietary fiber as Charlie adjusts to the diet. However, this can be increased if tolerated. Fat is a highly palatable, high energy component and essential fatty acids are necessary for normal cell functioning. The NRC provides maximum levels for total fat, linoleic acid and EPA plus DHA and this diet is within normal ranges. Vitamins and minerals are essential for healthy animals and deficiencies can have detrimental effects. The NRC only provides a maximum tolerable level for the calcium phosphorus ratio. The recommended ratio is between 1.1 to 1 and 1.4 to 1, which we've met. All minerals have met the recommended amounts for Charlie's requirements. Looking at the vitamins, every vitamin has been met with dietary intake except for choline. This isn't a problem as dogs can partially synthesize their own and raw fed and nerdy suggests that diets with lean meat and eggs will have ample amounts of choline. The NRC provides MTLs for vitamin A and vitamin D. This diet is well below the upper limit. If we look at the dry matter output provided by raw fed and nerdy, we can see that Charlie's diet is really high in protein, carbohydrates, and fiber. 
This is ideal because a high protein, high fiber diet has been shown to increase satiety on weight loss diets. So now that we've looked at the macronutrients in Charlie's diet, there are two really important things that we need to remember. Firstly, as Charlie loses weight, his requirements will change and the diet will need to be updated to reflect that. And secondly, a diet is only effective if an animal will eat it. So let's see. If let's hope that on this diet, Charlie can lose all the weight he needs to lose.